a bit oily. But anyway, um, as we like move into more of a healing um, nation, world global collective, um, where we're all sort of like self-observing, self-aware, self sort of analytical, not too much, but just like looking at our patterns and feeling the energy to feeling the shifts when they come when we get represented -pre -pre with other like scenarios that you know are coming up for final clearing um we need to be mindful that like we don't tarnish every negative trait in another person as like a red flag like obviously there are clear red flags in things and no human is perfect but sometimes we meet people when they're not in their best place or sometimes we meet people and we're on another mission or sometimes we meet people and our energy has never been met before and so the reaction of that or the um the effect or the aftermath of that energetic shake-up can be quite chaotic or that person might have been in the darkness and needed somebody to believe in them or needed a second chance like people can change i know that because i've done it and i think with all of the self-healing that we're doing and it's amazing you know all of us looking to live in healthier partnerships but at the end of the day we are human and we do fuck up and sometimes our lack of love through life or all the relationships around us have like put our guard up like you know you get trust um trust issues that can be worked through in partnership but there's um with ptsd and things have been through war and um veterans and certain um and, and grief and loss of of, of par parents and various things can push the mental space into a state of a disarray and darkness and We've not been taught how to pull ourselves out of that. Like, I, we can, we have the capability. We have to be very, very strong-willed, strong-minded, and this is the energy that's going on at the minute. If we don't have a strong mind, we can get dragged dragged down. A lot of people are contending with darkness, and they not, and I don't, I don't, I'm not too sure that they would identify as darkness or the darker forces, but. Um. You know, a friend of mine in a recent video was talking about hijacking and, and being held hostage and um, with, with dark forces and spirits, like energy, we call it in human terms, like, you know, greed or mania or um, jealousy. Like these are all spirits and entities and energies that come through that with healing and with love and with reflection and connection to the heart and with togetherness and community and silence and space away from the overwhelm of constant information and what we need to do next and what are you doing and da, 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 3 3 3 on the clock yo it's overwhelming and some of us experience overwhelming to the point where it's like well it's overwhelm <laughs> so no really words for it it's just a frequency that is quite blinding and it's quite like affects the physical body in in multiple ways and our breathing and everything and then we can flip into fight or flight mode and so i think without condoning any type of narcissistic or weird dark behavior <clears throat> which is surfacing in the collective now because i'm seeing it conscious individuals those who are connected to the soul and to music and to joy like soul we live with soul we've got we, we connect to a bigger energy a source energy a bit of other voom a bit of you know identity like 
we allow ourselves to be in our full space, full state, and that's why it's hard for us lot sensitives now, ever growing in our supernatural abilities or whatever, to surround ourselves where we cannot be our full authentic self. Where we have to dim and minimise conversation because there are eyes who do not see what is coming in the world. And, and that's okay, this is not a judgement, but we must be aligned with the soldiers and the warriors now who <coughs> excuse me are paving 535 the way out of what what um pave of greatness like beautiful opportunities ahead but first there will be chaos and confusion that is how the darker forces work with chaos and confusion overwhelm mania and so Sometimes we meet people when they're not at their best or we have a period where we lose a job and we go down. Like you don't expect people to make that about them or to like disappear because at the end of the day, relationships, loyalty, what I believe in things have got like the sanctity of marriage and like the original Holy Trinity or pyramid Isis and Osiris. Like I I believe in change. I believe people can change and I believe in um, second chances. And I believe in working through things and with communication. And sometimes it's not verbal. Sometimes it's just looking in someone's eyes and seeing their soul and knowing that fucked up things might have happened. But <coughs> they're not evil. Because evil does exist and evil can take over the body and the mind and people at the moment. And I trust that we will continue to find our strength to, um, I think there's a lot of voice, I think there's a lot of people coming into their power right now. Knowing how to discern better, knowing 717, what to put up with, what to say no to, what to block out and what to just leave and let go and... Some people say, let go, let God, with the flow of the universe, my laws, nature, mother earth, love. So what have I got to worry about? Society has fucked so many people up. And yes, we can all say, oh, everybody knows what they're doing, you know, but... But when you can't see, or your ego is so, or the ego is protected in ways that lead to um, various behaviours. It isn't black and white, and it isn't all about the Instagram memes of, oh, with the red flag, and like, I, I might have met someone, and it, together we might be a red flag sandwich, but, you know, I'd rather have that sandwich than any other fucking fake, shitty, um, surface level, shallow, vain connection. Um, or I'd rather be alone. So it's for me like we are moving and everybody knows into this world of Age of Aquarius. Oh, sorry, the frequencies are shifting right now. Um, and we have, we, we do just have to, um, Allow the change to come. Eight five eight. Bye bye bye.